<laughs> Hi, Brandon. Hi, Kat. <laughs> um, so, years ago, the Odea machines got a little bit of a bad rap about being a little extra needy, shall we say. That's true. They are. Um, they needed to, like, you know, have their hands held, a little hug in the morning, and then they would, you know, work like a champ. Um, but the reason is because they have, like, every machine, little sensors and stuff. Mm hmm so you're going to guide me through yep. all those little alarms and what you should check for and exactly that kind of thing. I think that bad rap really originated because with the Odea in particular, there's no digital readout. So, you know, that's something that's really nice about other espresso machines is it can clearly say things like, Bead, bean hopper lid missing mm -hmm. or dredge drawer gone or things like that but with this machine it's just an alarm it's just a light that's all you see so it's actually hard to you know to know what exactly the machine's telling you okay. uh, just by a light going on because it's just that one red exclamation point is, exactly. is used to communicate a number of different problems that's exactly it so for example, if you're getting uh, just a steady flashing mm -hmm. light, that can be one of a number of things. And we're going to go through those things right now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's take it away. So um, I think the biggest one that confuses a lot of people when they first get their machine is the fact that their steam knob is somewhere between closed and open. Okay. So as you can see here, I'm actually just going to, I'm going to open this as the small amount as I can. So here we go. And now we're getting an alarm. Now if someone just got this machine, it would be hard for them to tell that their their valve is actually open. Okay. Um, you know, because it, right now it's just as close to being closed as possible, but it's not actually closed. And as you can see, we just get this steady, steady light. Mm -hmm. And that, that rate of alarm right there um, is very common. It's, I think right now if I do a rough count, it's telling you that one of five, five things is happening. Okay. So, we see it there, that's one more place you can fix that alarm. Mm -hmm. Another place is right here. Same exact alarm. This magnet is not being picked up by that sensor. Now, if you have this on and you've checked everything else and you're still getting that alarm, you should get your machine service because the sensor isn't sitting in its right place. But we'll get we'll get to that. Okay. Um, so that's the second one. The third one is this magnet right here in your dredge drawer. Mm -hmm. There's a sensor for that on the other side of your wall back there. Okay. And uh, you know, actually, it doesn't need to actually be sitting in here. You want this here because, as you can see, it gathers quite a bit of water. Mm -hmm. But if I put this right back. Actually, can I get it in place? Yep, there we go. Yeah. So I still have this brew group drip tray out, <laughs> but I'm, I put the dredge drawer in and the magnet's able to pick it up. Okay. Now, here's another one. There's a magnet on your door. If your door is open, you will get that alarm. And the magnet is actually sitting right here. That, that This little plastic piece that's sticking out from the door, okay. that's a magnet that's sitting in the door that gets picked up by a sensor right up here above the brew unit chamber. Uh -huh. Now, so that's the fourth alarm we get for that. And the fifth is simply your brew in itself. So I'm taking this out. I'm going to shut the door. But we still have that alarm there. Mm -hmm. And it's because this right here on your brew unit isn't hitting the micro switch that's back behind the brew unit. Okay. So if you're getting that alarm right there that you see, you need to check all those things I just went through because it's, it's one of those. And then also, uh, what happens if um, you're out of uh, water or anything oh, like that? That's a good one. That your water alarm light is nice because it's that's all it is. If you ever see that right there, just solid, not blinking, that's that's telling you that your water tank is empty, or they're kind of one and the same. That your water tank isn't sitting in its place properly or you have low water yeah exactly okay it, yeah exactly that is so essentially whenever you get that if it's solid like hold on let's see here there we go okay. that's solid so you know let's see when it actually goes away you know I kind of have my water tank in right now but it's still saying it's it needs to be really good because it needs to make good connection with the water inlet mm -hmm. so that's why this is kind of sensitive you really got to get it pushed in there 
and eventually it goes away. Okay, so blinking is largely stuff to do with all around my brew group and all that accoutrement mm -hmm. or my grinder area. Mm -hmm. And then solid is water related. Yep, exactly. And um, where the water sensor is on this machine, as you can see, it's right here. So it's about, you know, a half inch above the water inlet. Okay. So your water tank is never actually going to run out of water. You're never actually going to see no water in your water tank. When it's low, it's probably going to be right about here. And that's just a safety feature for your machine. You know, it's it's telling you you need to refill when there's still, you know, some water in there. Okay. Um, so, yeah, if you ever see that exclamation point just solid, it's pertaining to your water. And if you, uh, there's actually a common thing that happens with these machines. Mm -hmm. And that is, um, if you're putting your water tank in, and it's full of water, and you're still getting that alarm, your, your sensor board that's right on the other side of this wall, like I said, it's, it's right on the other side of this square right here. Mm -hmm. That's why that's there. Um, it's because that it's actually no longer adhered to that wall. And you need oh. to you, you need to get sent in your machine for service because a, a tech needs to get in there and get that board back adhered to the wall. To the, got it. So it, somehow it came off. Exactly. It's you know it's just kind of the, one of the things that happens with this machine. Um, it shouldn't happen with any of our refurbs because they get in there and they make yeah. sure it's all adhered really well. But as it ages, it might be an error you would see. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So yeah, if you ever see that your water tank's full, you're still getting the alarm. That's nine times out of ten. That's going to be your issue. And uh, so I have two other little um, symbols here, B. Oh, yeah. What what do those mean? The the top guy and the bottom guy. Mm -hmm. So the top guy is telling you that you need to uh, drop all your pucks from your dredge drawer. Okay. And you know, as you know, with the Odea Juro and mm -hmm. Go, here's your dredge drawer. Mm -hmm. um, now let's say you're a very clean person, mm -hmm. and you like to dump your pucks out every three shots. Okay. That's fine, but you're still gonna get that alarm a after it pulls a certain number of shots. I'm not exactly sure how it is, but that's how your machine determines that you need to dump your pucks. I think it's 10. Uh, that sounds about right. Yeah, it's eight or it, 10. Yeah, I don't know if it's yeah. more than that. But um, yeah, so let's say you could be getting that alarm and honestly you could have one puck in there and it's giving you that alarm. It's just doing that because it's, it's remembering the number of shots you've taken. So when you see the error mm -hmm. and you, or the, the, the symbol like, hey, empty your drug, your drugs box, mm -hmm. you take it and you toss it out and you put it back in and it's still giving you that error, what might be the problem? The problem there is that you were so quick and so efficient mm -hmm. with throwing out those pucks, you didn't have it out long enough. The machine needs to know that this was out, I, I believe that is 10 seconds. Okay. I believe this has to sit out for 10 seconds when that alarm goes on for it to go off. Got so it. like if your trash is right there and you just dump it real quick and put it back, that alarm could very well be there. You just leave it out 10, 20 seconds and then it should be completely gone. So it's not actually reading like, hey, I feel like my dregs box is full exactly. or I see or I'm sensing something there. It's just a straight shot count. Exactly, exactly. That's all it's doing. There's no scale or anything like that. It's okay. just remembering the amount of So you're gonna see it regardless, even if you toss out each puck ever if you do one shot a day, toss it out. Basically, every 10 days, it's going to be like, you exactly. need to clean your drags box. Exactly, exactly. Okay, and then what's the bottom symbol? The bottom symbol is uh, for descaling. Okay. So if you if you um, are, are seeing this, if this is lit up, um, you need to descale your machine. And that's also just based on a shot count. Exactly, exactly. That's not, you know, it's not like it's sensing scale in your boiler or anything mm -hmm. like that. Your machine could be in tip-top condition, and it could be giving you that error. But you should do what the machine says and descale your machine. You can still function the machine with that light on. Okay. Um, you can't on the Talea Juro, but on this particular machine you can. And But you should descale your machine uh, just to be safe. Now, B, what if I live somewhere that have really hard water and so I've decided, regardless of what the machine tells me, I'm going to descale every month. And is that going to affect that sensor or am I still going to see that? Um, it'll just come up by that shot count. It, it will still come up by that shot count. And let's say that air comes up. Mm -hmm. not, it's actually not really an air, just a notification yeah. light when it comes up. Um, you should, and it, let's say you just descaled your machine and you get that notification. Do you it should, again. You, sh you don't actually have to descale your machine again, but you okay. should probably still go through the motions uh, with a fake water. You know, just put water in there and make it think you're descaling. Okay. And then let it run out and then act like it's rinsing. That's essentially how you get this air to go away. Is to run a descale cycle 
after the uh, the notification turns on. Exactly, and then it will actually it it makes you run another full tank and rinse it. Okay. So you'll you'll do one tank, and you can if you're going to trick your machine, you could just fill your tank up, you know, a quarter of the way, mm -hmm. and then turn it on, you know. So it thinks it's descaled, and by the time it runs out, it's like, hey, I'm done descaling, now rinse. And you can do the same thing. Fill it up a quarter of the way, rinse it. That way, if you just descaled your machine and you're looking to get that notification light yeah. to go away, you can kind of trick it that way to make it a little quicker. And that's uh, that's a really common question that I get. I just descaled, and now, I, but I'm still getting this. No, and I just, and then I got a notification out of nowhere. Exactly. And it's because it's just the shot. You descaled before the machine thought it should be done. Yep. And uh, it didn't. It didn't know it needed to reset. Basically. Exactly. And sometimes it can be the same case as uh, the dredge box. Okay. You know, sometimes the machine can get confused uh, between the descale uh, solution mm -hmm. and just the rinsing water solution. So, like, if you do that really quick, if you're just moving and you descale, take it, fill it up, and put it right back in, mm -hmm. your machine could potentially think that it still has descale in there. Oh. You know. So, okay. So between the water tanks, you should let it sit. You know, at least ten or twenty seconds. Exactly. That. Exactly. Okay. You know, a lot of people call in about that as well. They'll call in and say, "Hey, I descaled my machine. I rinsed it, um, but it's still giving me that notification light." And it's well, you need to leave that tank out a little bit longer. Okay. Um, and then maybe don't try to trick it at all with the rinse. Make mm -hmm. it a full tank, and you'll know that you're it's it's rinsing because when it's descaling, when it's in its descale cycle, um, it will be kind of pulsating. It will be kind of like five seconds on with descale solution, okay. and then stop. And, and it's like the descale solution is getting into the boiler, just doing its business, mm -hmm. kind of, kind of you know, a chemical reaction's going on or whatever, mm -hmm. and then it'll go again. And it'll probably do that for about 20 times before that first descale solution's done. I see. But then when you get to the rinse solution, there's no intermittent like that. It's, it's just straight it's just through. Straight. All right, cool. So alarms um, and uh, remedies for the Odea series of machines. This is the same, I assume, for the Go, correct? Yes. Go yes, and Jiro. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you, Brendan. No problem.